Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, we're going to change a mod that I had done on the Toyota Tacoma, and it's partially the fault of you guys. Nobody seems to like this mod that I did. What I'm talking about, let's take a look inside, is the newest shift knob uh, that I put uh, right there. I went with orange because I changed the theme of the truck to orange. You can see over on the glove box, some of the uh, accenting around the truck as well. Uh, it looks kind of red in the, the video, I think, but trust me, it is orange. So we're going to pull that one off, and that should be pretty easy to do, unless I tightened it, you know, with everything I have. Let's just see. Ah, not too bad at all. Just want to screw it off of there. Actually, I should pull this down first. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. There you go. And then we want to go ahead and pull off the, I guess, the whole assembly, it seems like. I really just wanted the shift knob out of there. But, you know, you do what you got to do. So, let's get it all off of there. And this is kind of a, a quick disconnect uh, setup that I have here. This, as you can see, just kind of snaps up underneath the lip on this little piece that you can get. Pretty handy if you're into switching out knobs and stuff. And look at that. doesn't look like I even had it threaded on there right. That or it moved. Look at that. Did it break or something? That's really odd. See how it's kind of angled inside the hole? I don't know what that's about. Let's go over to the workbench and take a look. All right. Let's uh, see. You can see down in the hole there it's crooked. Huh, hadn't noticed that. And man, it's it's tight in there. Well, that's got me a little concerned. Did I thread it in wrong? Probably. Oh, well, we have the insert to make it fit in there too. That's okay. But I need to get this out. That's going to take a pair of pliers and some rubber, I think. So, let's grab that. Okay, the reason I use rubber is because I don't want to scuff up the uh, piece that I have here. So I'm just kind of going to wrap that around. I don't want that to roll off of there either. So we'll put those inside the pliers like so. Easier said than done, right? And then I should be able to just grab on here and hopefully just twist this thing out. And I can. Yeah, that was like cross-threaded or barely in there. Maybe it happened when I was uh, pulling it out. I'm not sure. That's not good. little damage to the threads, it looks like. But I think I'm going to be okay. I hope so, because I only have one of these, I think. So, the new knob, which is the old knob, uh, is in here. It is uh, the green version. You guys can see right here. This is the one that everybody seems to like more, so we're going to go back to this. Uh, now, let me make sure that I can thread this in there properly. Wow, this doesn't even fit in here, does it? No, it's actually a different... Let me check inside. I think it's a bigger, a smaller, rather, thread. It is. So, no fear of that, because... I can't use that anyway. So I think maybe what I had done before was just screwed this one on without the uh, the insert here. I'm not sure. Yeah, because there's no real way to put this on, so I must not have used this before. I honestly don't remember. That means I have to screw it on with this, and I think I used a nut as a stopper because I had this nut in the box. So let's go back over to the truck and see if I've gotten into more than the few minutes I wanted to spend actually doing this. Okay, putting this back together, I think, I used the insert here. So we're going to want to go ahead and screw that back on. And I believe it went, I think it went all the way down. Stopped it right there. And then I think... I had this piece on next. I 
And you can't do that because it's going to screw all the way off, right? Not necessarily. I mean, you could just stop it and then once this is on, it won't let the, I don't think, it'll let the, um, the shift knob go down any further. But what I may have done, let's see here, let's get this off. Just trying to remember which order I actually had these in before. I don't really recall. I may have put a nut on there. If I do that, is that going to clear it? I'm not sure. I think I had the nut on all the way down. But that doesn't really clear. So I'm going to have to do a little more investigating. Let me figure this out. I'll come back on and show you what the resolution is. Okay, I believe I figured it out. Uh, what I had done before is I went ahead and put the insert here, this silver insert on. That's to get the thread to the right size for the uh, holder here. Then I put the holder on and put it eh, about halfway down or so. And then I put a nut on the top as a stopper for the actual shift knob itself. So this will screw on. Actually, this will pull up first, and then I'll screw the uh, shift knob on. And that will marry it up to this little collar here. So let me do that and then I'll show you. Okay, that's it. That's how it goes on. And you can see there's just a little space here. If you were really particular, I could twist that little holder down or up rather inside to bring it up just a hair but it's not bad the way it is. Everything moves, and this can't move any further because it's married to the, the shift rod, if you will. So that's what it looks like. Uh, I do think it looks better. Uh, it just meshes better with the custom shift boot that I had made that I put on here, uh, which, by the way, this is awesome. Actually, it came from Poland, of all places, uh, but the pricing was, like, dirt cheap, uh, and it fits really well. I will caution you, if you happen to come across that company, I have an older video if you want to look it up, but if you come across that company, they do a great job on shift boots, but not so good on uh, center console covers. I had bought one of those as well, and it did not fit right. Uh, it was a disaster. Fortunately, it cost me like 30 bucks. I mean, it was dirt cheap. Good quality, it appeared, but just not very good as far as fitment goes. Anyway, that uh, that takes care of the look, and I do think it still goes well with the orange theme in here, because after all, I mean, the truck is electric lime green, so it's not like it doesn't match anything uh, as far as the truck gro goes. If anything, I my goal here was to kind of tie in the green shift boot stripe uh, and the shift knob with the color of the truck itself, so I think it came out pretty good. Anyway, I just wanted to get on, let you guys see one more time uh, how easy it is to do this. Uh, and cave to the peer pressure, I, I think, as well as my own. I wasn't uh, sold on that orange knob either. So this one is awesome. I think it looks great. Leave a comment. Let me know. Better than before? Or you like the orange? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.